harvesting daylily is labor intensive. We're up by four or five o'clock, then work all the way till sunset. So you have to keep up the pace like this during their flowering phase? Yes, from dawn to dusk. They'll bloom if not picked. We even have to work through typhoon days. So when do people in Elon usually eat duck? By end of summer. Around the end of heat of solar terms. That is the right time for having warm tonics. Not so much for hot tonics. Is the fruiting season for Longan in the seventh lunar month? Around the sixth and seventh lunar month in this region. The season starts in the south, from Pingdong and Kaohsiung. Then from Tainan, it continues up towards Jiayi and Nanto. When harvest begins in Nanto, it'll be around the middle of the seventh lunar month. That's when it reaches the peak of harvest season. The skin of this autumn pear is very thin. Even if it might look a bit rough around the edges, its skin is very refined. When peeling off the skin, we can feel as if the juice is about to squirt out. I'm now pruning for the winter. We just trim off unwanted branches. During the 50s and 60s, about the time when I was in elementary school, the entire pear industry in Taiwan depended upon Hongshan pears. Nowadays, they are only used for grafting, but no longer in production. So the Hongshan pear tree is used as the rootstock. If there are other types of pears you want to eat, you'll just graft them into it. Exactly. We've arrived at the season when Taiwanese sand pears are in abundance. Of all varieties of sand pear, the top grafted pear is the best in flavor and has become the most popular in recent years. It is high in level of sweetness, crispiness, and moisture content. In one bite, and you'll be left with a mouthful of lingering fragrance. That's the highest praise we can sing to the fruit. When is the flowering season for daylilies at Liu Shidan Mountain? It's normally before and after the beginning of autumn. All through the autumn? Yes. How long will it stay in bloom? Around mid-autumn festival. Up until the middle of the eighth lunar month? Yes. So that's within a month or within half a month. How many varieties of daylilies are there? There are about three varieties. There are Taidong No. 6, Perfume, and High Mountain Daylilies. It's High Mountain variety we are harvesting. This is a flower we can harvest today. This one is ready for tomorrow, and this one for the day after. As for this one, if it's not picked today, it'll be in full bloom tomorrow. So you'll always need to harvest what is to bloom on the day. Daylily flowers only last for a day. If you don't pick them today, they'll simply turn into full blooms and go to waste. As a farmer, you're always in a dilemma, aren't you? It's tough. You wish for a bumper harvest, but not overly so. If the crop is too bountiful, then it will drive the sale price down. A natural disaster would result in no earnings. We can't recoup the cost. So while visitors are delighted to see the hill covered with daylily blooms, your hearts are bleeding. This is it. Tourists enjoy seeing the flowers, but we don't. Those already flowered are the ones we didn't manage to harvest the day before. That's why they stay in bloom. That really makes one's heart bleed. A whole year's hard work can go to waste in just a matter of days. You sound like you're from overseas. 
Yes. Where Where are you from? Vietnam. Ah, uh, I see. Are there daylilies in Vietnam? When I lived in Vietnam, I'd seen them but never tried them. You not? But now, having arrived at Leo Shidan Mountain and got married, you get to eat them every day. Yes. These day lilies have been sun dried. We soak them in water to soften them before use. This should be a favorite dish with children. Yes. Isn't this very much like French fries? Yes, it is. Is there anything that stands out in your memory after having lived in the mountains for 14 years? That is unforgettable? My life is just work and kids every day. I work hard to make a living. Hopefully someday I can go back home to visit my mom and dad. Haven't you been back since you got here? Not for seven years. Business is hard going up here in the mountains. With two months of income throughout the year, we can barely make ends meet. That's why I haven't been back. So life hasn't been easy. Yes. But my family is worth all the hardship. I've got well-behaved children, and my husband is quite good to me. So all is well. We are now grafting the Chinese red pear, introduced by the Agricultural Research Institute. The black ribbon we use now is to differentiate among types of pears. What type of pear is this yellow one? This is the Korean national treasure, called golden pear. This one, with the blue ribbon we're grafting now, is the Fuzhou honey pear from Li Shan. And with the red tape, we're grafting autumn pear. This is an autumn pear we grafted on the third of first lunar month. We can now see flower buds of our Hongshan pear. These are flower buds of the parent tree. Yes, and look, they will flower about the same time as our high grafted flowers. They'll bloom together and allow the bees as a medium to help us pollinate. And this is the key to successful grafting. Correct. Do all the pears need to have a bag over them? Yes. Taiwan is an epidemic area of the oriental fruit fly. Whatever variety of pears you grow, they all have to be bagged for protection, or the pesticide control will become a serious concern. It will result in an excessive use of pesticides. Yes. That won't be good for the farmers nor consumers. So the best solution is to use bags. Look at this fruit fly. It's incredible. This is the only pear of the entire tree that wasn't in a bag. Its skin was green. Having been bitten by the fruit fly, it now has black spots. Each bite leaves a black spot. Has the fly laid her eggs in the pear? She certainly has. The larvae wait for the pear to develop its sweetness. In about a month, the inside of the pear will begin to rot. The larvae can then feed on this fermented sugar. This variety of pear is named julep. It is cultivated by our Agricultural Research and Extension Station and gives off a very rich and fruity aroma. This is an autumn pear. Oh, yes. We grafted it on the 1st of January. 
It's now July 5th. The fruit is normally harvested after 180 days. So now is the time. This autumn pear is your signature variety, isn't it? Yes, the texture of autumn pear is the best of our grafting varieties. Look, the flesh is porcelain white and very fine in texture. Is the price of autumn pears now higher than most varieties of Taiwanese pears? Well, the premium price reflects its quality. Premium quality? Yes. Is it perhaps superior to the pears from Fushou Mountain? Not the least inferior. <laughs>